Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode. I just woke up. I hope you're having a beautiful day. We're going to jump into the charts for Bitcoin and Ethereum. The Nasdaq opens today. Um, in, so in 12 hours, I'll do the Nasdaq as well. Look at the tech stocks. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up button and turn on the bell there. And let me know any in the comment section, any tickers you'd like me to analyze. Now, I'm a little bit worried about Bitcoin and crypto right now. The volumes are the lowest that we've seen in five years. We're having one of the lowest volume times before the whole bull run, but even before 2019, which is very dangerous. Volume predicts price. So I'm I'm actually worried that Bitcoin can have a new key down to 20K and that's where I'm going to be adding a lot more to my positions. I'm going to show you that in the charts. Let's jump into the technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going to the and you can see market, not much movement. <clears throat> we had 1% up on IDEX, no real movement at all. Bitcoin, it was the long weekend, um, Labor Day yesterday, so the stock market was closed, could have it affected it. And you can see here that we're just in this channel, this blue channel that we've been in between 25,200, 26,800 on Bitcoin. And on the longer term time frames, when we zoom out, we can see that we're in this, we broke this big rising channel, ri rising wedge. I teach you this in the Crypto Master Course. Broke and now it looks like it will break to the downside coming down to 20K. So that's where I want to go heavy long. Um, and you can see we're getting a lot of inverse hammers, which is bearish patterns. Four hour we oversold, volume drying up, daily oversold, four hour we oversold, volume is just so low. Look at this volume, crazy, so low volume. <clears throat> so the trade setups I would take are still the same. First going long from this blue line because I expect that we will get a bounce because it is a very strong support going back a long time. So I would open a long from, <clears throat> from here, 25,267, stop loss 25,178 and take profit 28,000. Risk to reward is 31 times, risking $88 to make $2,700 with no leverage. With 10X leverage, 27,000. With 100X leverage, 270,000. That's the trade I would take on Bitcoin. Opening at one at two five two six seven stop loss two five one seven eight take profit twenty eight and then once it bounces I would then short it to come down to twenty k and then once it comes down to twenty k that's when I want to go heavy long and I've already got a lot of these orders already set um, on my on my <coughs> on Bybit. That's a trade I would take on Bitcoin. This one first. 31 risk to reward, which is beautiful, meets the minimum multiplication level. And if you want to trade like you're seeing me do under the videos, one, take the course, jamescryptoguru.com, the crypto master course, learn what I'm doing, how to trade, how to set up charts. Two, trading on Bybit, second biggest exchange, $30,000 bonus. Three, join 9,000 investors, traders in our Telegram, talk together, it's free. And you can see their gains. <coughs> and you can see some of the gains. This guy made 104,000. This guy made $42,000 profits. These are in our Telegram. $104,000, $100 profits, $67,000 profits. These guys, many percentage profits you can see all in the Telegram. Let's go now into Ethereum. So that's the trade setup I take on Bitcoin. Now I'm going into Ethereum. Ethereum looks like it's trying to hold on, but it's about to fail. Uh oh Ethereum looks like it's about to fail, everyone. I would go short from this resistance in case it looks like it's going to dump. I would go short from 1658, stop loss very tight, and then dumping, and then flipping long from this trend line. That's the trades I would take on Ethereum. This risk to road 24 times, um, risk 13% without leverage, 130% with 10x leverage, 1300% profit with 100x leverage, and then I would flip long on Ethereum from 1439. I'll share this screenshot inside our Telegram as well. Um, again, all the links are down below over on Bybit. In my account, I have 301,500, down about $1,000 yesterday, 133,000 in cash, 26,000 in Doge. I've got buy orders for Doge going down. So you can see I've got FXS buy orders at $5.40. Now it's $5.50. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, let's put buy orders going down more. Let's do it at $5. In case there's a nuke, let's do $5,000 worth of FXS at $5. That order is set. Doge, I've got at $0.05. Cents. I've got to buy around $10,000. Um... And Uniswap, 
four dollars forty. I have no buy orders for Uniswap. Let's do a buy order for Uniswap. Let's also do five thousand dollars at four dollars. Which is beautiful. I'm just laddering buy orders down when in case Bitcoin nukes and we have this drop to 20k, then all my orders will activate. My goal now in this bear market, and I'm worried it can nuke lower. Bitcoin to 20k will wipe out a lot of alts, 50% even. So right now I'm just going to have a lot of buy orders low that if it nukes, it drops down, it activates my trade and then bounces back. Thank you for watching everyone. Have an amazing day and I'll see you all again tomorrow.